All right, what is going on, you guys? My name is Bubba, and welcome back to another insane story. So this story takes place back, actually, funny enough, two years ago. At this age, I remember I was basically supposed to be getting a job and basically getting ready for college, but me, I didn't do any of that because my dream was to become a YouTuber, and thanks to you guys, that dream came true. But having so much free time on my hands after recording a bunch of videos, I remember I would always like to go out and hang out with friends. But then I remember one time when me and all my friends were just sitting in a car, bored as hell, my friend ended up looking at us saying, Yo, bro, why don't we go to a water park? What? A water park? We were all super confused on why he said that, but then he ended up saying, Dude, trust me, bro. It's summertime and a lot of hot girls go to the water park. You don't want to miss it, bro. And at that point, I remember all of us looked at each other and we took his word for it. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say no to a cool water park. Going on from there, I remember basically we all ended up going home, getting our swim trunks on, and basically getting ready to go to the water park. I also remember I texted some girls to see if they want to go to the water park with me because there was no way that I was really going to risk going to a water park and not seeing any girls because I'm gonna be honest. I'm not really the water park kind of guy if you know what I mean. Anyways, I remember basically we all got ready and when we did, we all ended up driving down to the water park and we got there a bit early. I remember when we were there, it was like three in the afternoon and there were a lot of kids in the water park and me as a 19 year old at the time, I didn't think it was really cool to go inside the water park when there's a bunch of children inside. Like in my opinion, that's kind of weird. So I remember I kind of just held back and started going my phone and scrolling through TikTok. But as I was doing that, I remember out of nowhere around like 5.30, so two hours later, a bunch of little kids ended up leaving the water park and the sky was getting dark. I remember as the sky was getting dark, me and my friends were looking at each other thinking it was time to go home, but the water park was still on. We were really confused at first and then my buddy ends up telling all of us, dude, trust me, man, this is where things get good. Just watch, just watch what's gonna happen. And then out of nowhere, boom, a Jeep pulls up into the parking lot with a bunch of girls on it and there were like seven girls girls just going into the water park in their bikinis. It was like a scene straight out of Baywatch. It was so majestic and so awesome to see those cherries jiggle as they go into the water park. I was actually surprised. And I remember as we were seeing this go down, me and the boys got really excited. And I think some of us got bricked up, but I'm not sure. I wasn't looking, I swear. Later on, I remember I was like basically going around the water park, running around, having fun. And also I got my water gun to shoot at, you know, people with. I guess you could say I was kind of the rebel. And as I was shooting people, with them. I remember some girls would end up chasing me because I accidentally shot them and it was actually pretty cool to get chased by girls. I literally felt like I was in grade five again. That sounds weird, but you guys know what I mean. After a bit though, I remember me and my friends, we ended up grouping up with these group of girls and we all basically started hanging out together. We all ate together, we all chilled together, and at the same time, we all just started hanging out at the water park getting soaking wet. And don't get me wrong, I like getting girls wet, but this was a whole different thing. Actually, okay, that sounded really weird. Uh, YouTube, don't you monetize this video. Anyways, going on with the story, I remember after a while, a lot of the girls were getting cold and they ended up putting their towels on and basically laying down on the grass. And me and the boys, we all ended up hanging out with them because we were all basically becoming friends at that point. But I remember there was one girl in this group that was, well, really, really, how do I put this, thirsty. It became so awkward when me and her started talking to each other because she would always bring up random stuff like, so like, you have a really nice six pack. Oh my God, you're so attractive. Like, look at you. And I remember it became super weird to the point where I remember I told her, hey, uh, yo, listen, you need to chill. Like, you know, like, I get you like me, but like, gotta relax. I remember when I said that, one of her friends ended up coming up to me saying, okay, dude, listen, she's literally into you and we already know that you're bricked up from looking at us. So just like, go hang out with her. At this point, it sounded like I was being peer pressured to literally go do the devil's tango with her. And then I remember I basically told them, okay, yo, chill, chill, chill. I, listen, I think she's cute. Yeah, but like, you know, don't push me into it. I remember all the girls ended up rolling their eyes at me and ended up walking away. These girls were really sassy and I'm not gonna lie. I thought high school was behind them, but it seemed like they still act like high schoolers. And yes, all of them were above the age of 19, by the way. Don't get it twisted. All right, guys. Anyways, going on, I remember afterwards, I started hanging out with the girl that really liked me and I ended up adding her on Snapchat. And when I did, I remember me and her were just sitting beside each other, just talking about life and talking about what we wanted to do. I remember she ended up telling me that how she wants to become a doctor and all this stuff, like most girls want to, I guess. And then I remember I ended up telling her my dream of becoming a YouTuber and as usual, she ended up saying, oh, okay, that's uh, pretty cute, I guess. Whatever that means, like, sure, whatever. And then I remember it got to the point where the water park ended up turning off and a lot of people started leaving. The boys started leaving and at the same time, her friend group started leaving but then afterwards, I remember I told her, hey, if you want to stay longer, like, I can just drive you back home. Because at this point, I was actually getting into her and she was actually like, you know, actually really hot. And then I remember she ends up looking at me saying, oh, um, I have to go to the bathroom. So I remember she ended up getting 
getting up and going to the bathroom. I thought, to be honest, she was ditching me, so I ended up getting my towel and putting my shirt back on and getting ready to leave. But as I was heading for my car, I remember I saw this girl ended up sending me a Snapchat of her in the bathroom, and it was literally a photo of her cherry saying, you want to enjoy these tonight? At that point, I already knew I was in, but there was no way I was going to take her to her house because she has parents at home, and I also have parents at my house. So I remember afterwards, I ended up walking up to the girl afterwards when she came out of the bathroom saying, yo, listen, I don't know how we're going to do this, but like, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I can't take you back to my place. So I was being brutally honest. And if I'm being real with you guys, I was planning not even to do the duels take go at all. But then I remember she said, well, I mean, I just canceled my ride. So like, do you want to just go do it in the water park instead? Like, why not? Like, we might as well just do it at the water park. No one's there. Uh, okay, I guess is what I told her. And then me and her, we ended up going to the water park and we literally ended up doing the devil's tango while we were standing on hard cement and basically doing it. It was pretty awkward at first, but I'm not going to lie. Since it was really late at night and the water park was off, it was not like, you know, we were going to get caught. So I remember we just kept doing it and it became like half an hour later. And then one thing I realized is that randomly out of nowhere, the park lights turned on and we were freaking out. It was weird because it was only like 10 p.m. at night. And for some reason, the lights came on and it was super awkward because I remember me and her just started looking at each other thinking, okay, it's maybe time to go. So I remember I ended up going to my car and she ended up coming in my car with me and basically ended up driving her home. I drove over straight home and afterwards she ended up telling me, I had a lot of fun today. Good, I hope so, is what I told her. And afterwards she ended up getting out of my car, coming up to my window and then making out with me through my car door. Pretty awkward, but then she ended up leaving, going back to her house and yeah, I guess that was basically it. I remember I ended up driving home and I ended up telling the boys what happened and none of them believed me, but you know what? It is what it is. Anyways, guys, that's basically it for today's story. So make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. And on top of that, join the Discord server down below. And like I always say, fall for more embarrassing but crazy stories. All right, peace out, guys.